We got nine hours of just pure hell and fury out there. Control chaos. The amount of stamina that you have to have to last that way and make good decisions and be on top of your game is tough, man. You name me one other sport that lasts nine hours without timeout, and I'll be glad to go play in it too. It's a game of ounces. I mean, there's been many instances I've seen guys lose hundreds of thousands of dollars by a single ounce. It's you against the fish. It's not if you're 250 and you can bench press 800 pounds, it's who can outsmart the fish. And that guy from Michigan tends to do it better than everybody else in the world. He's a warrior. He has a God-given gift. He is the top dog of them all. He's the king. Kevin Van Dam is the sport of bass fishing. Period. Kalamazoo, Michigan, Kevin Van Dam! The general fishing community sees the tournament. That's what they see in Kevin. He's there to do one thing, and that is to step on your throat. The Elite Series has been around since 2006, 70 some tournaments, and Kevin has finished in the money in the top half of the field more than 94% of the time. That's remarkable. He's currently on a streak that goes back to 2011 where he's been in the money 28 consecutive tournaments. If you want to put that in perspective, second best is 16, and that's also Kevin. 20 tournament wins, and maybe he'll have 30 before he retires. Seven. Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles, four classics, and probably more than that. Improbable that anyone's gonna eclipse him. The competitor in Kevin makes him fierce, you know? He wants to beat you at everything, not just at fishing. Van Dam will play hurt. I've seen him take a motorcycle helmet, lift the shield up, puke straight out over the console, put the lid back down and take off running. That's a warrior. Mechanically, most guys are on the same level. Mentally, he's on a whole nother planet. You know, honestly, that's what separates him, and that's the way that he gets in different guys' heads. Kevin's an intimidating figure. You know, whether he's at a tournament or at a boat, wherever he is, he's the dude. You jump in the ring with Mike Tyson, you intimidate him. You gonna take a handoff against Ray Lewis and tell me you're not intimidated? He's the best in our sport has seen in many, many years. There's an intimidation factor that comes with that. To me, it's equivalent to guys like Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, Tiger Woods, you know, guys that came into the sport and just absolutely dominated. A bad year for Kevin Van Dam is a career year for the majority of fishermen. That one. Yeah! If you want to be um, consistent, if you want to win an angler of the year, if you want to be the top guy in the sport that season, you can't have bad days. And to be dominant year after year, it's more than just talent, it's more than just natural ability, it's, it's, it's up here. And uh, I can't promise you I know how to harness that, but I, I'm aware of what it takes to win. Um, and once you've won before, it, nothing satisfies until you, you do it again. That's the kind that win the freaking classic right there, boys. Yeah! When you look across the sport of bass fishing, and there's a lot of guys out there, a lot of great ones, but if I could pick one guy that I said, truly, I knew had the heart of a champion, it would be Kevin Van Dam. KVD, the boy wonder, Kalamazoo kid, whatever you want to call him, the guy possesses the heart of a champion and is willing to lay it all out on the line to win day in and day out. Kevin, of course, is our sport's biggest star, and I think that also makes him the biggest influence. He gives us all something to aspire to, someone to look up to, someone to think, you know, if I, if I really work at it hard, if I put in the time, if I put in the energy, if I hone my skills, maybe I can get to this level. The problem is that Kevin continually raises that bar. So just when another angler approaches him, he seems to find another gear and to pull away. And he's reaching heights that I wonder if they'll ever be reached again. I believe every time I go out, you know, that I can win and that I have to do what I need to do to get myself in that position. And I want to do whatever it takes. I mean, I'm going to, I, I'm going to work harder. I'm going to uh, stay longer. I'm going to, you know, plan more. I'm, I'm going to think about it and, and come up with a game plan and believe I can execute it. And, you know, every time I fish a tournament, you know, you start with that plan. You got to believe you can win. If you don't think you're going to win, why even show up?